everyone I'm super excited to show you the April kits so <clears throat> let's get started we'll start with the papers so this is from Pink Fresh Studio and oh my gosh I love this side so this has kind of a, a bit wonky um, script paper that I'm not gonna try and read now <laughs> on one side and then this fun pattern on the other even though it's green um, which together with brown <laughs> are probably my least favorite colors to use on uh, like in scrapbook paper but I do like that there's a ton of white here and I love the little scalloped pattern and I do like this um, you know it's kind of distressed a little bit so this is called a case of the blas <laughs> the blas <laughs> um, the collection I guess is called like that and the paper is called flossom flossom if you're interested of course you can find all the details and the uh, complete list of products on the hip kit club website from stay colorful dear Lizzie uh, this paper is called Sweetness. This side has these beautiful ice cream. Super cute. The background is a very light um, blue aqua kind of color. And then, okay, I like ice cream, but this is just perfect. I love this. So it looks like watercolor paper like hand drawn stripes in watercolor which you can totally do by yourself um, but if you're not into that then there you go and you can see like the whole texture of watercolor I just love that probably I would have a paper like this if I ever designed a collection um, so I'm pretty sure I will use this and I kind of feel like I would want to use this as a background paper or maybe like a stripe or like a strip of it uh, either diagonal or horizontal I think both of it would be really cool this paper I would probably use like I think this would be a really uh, this is actually would work as any it would work as a background it would work as a layer it's just such a versatile pattern yummy <coughs> from Maggie Holmes flourish this paper is called fragrant and this side is this lovely floral and then this side is a fun little looks you know not very uniform like almost hand-drawn dots um, in dark like a dark pink purple I would say on a pink background beautiful this is from Pick Me Up Pink Paisley. This is paper number seven. The Pink Paisley collections don't have names to their papers, but numbers. So this is number seven. This side has all these cute lemons. And then this side is, this is like one of those super versatile papers for me. I would probably use this as a layer, even though if you like yellow, this would also work as a background. And it has this pattern in white over a bright yellow background. This is probably one of my favorite papers in this kit because I love rainbows. This is from Stay Colorful by Dear Lizzie. It's called Hey Sunshine. And this has this adorable rainbow on this kind of peachy, orangey background. And then the other side, I also like black and white. It has this pattern which also looks hand-drawn in something like watercolor, I would even say. Love, love, love this paper from Dear Lizzie Stay Colorful. This is called Let's Boogie. This paper says hooray in a scripty font in black on white. And then this side has these lovely, I guess this is like hand-drawn daisies kind of looks like with a pink uh, center. This just makes me happy, this paper. It's so adorable. I really would like to, I think, I think in this kit I will start from, um, like picking out the Dear Lizzie papers and just I mean look at that that really makes me happy I gotta say <coughs> excuse me getting over a cold which is starting to be the story of my life 
Wow, there's tons of paper in this kit. Wow. From Pick Me Up, Pink Paisley. This is number one. It's a cut apart sheet. You can see all the different patterns. Super cute stuff. You have a journaling spot, uh, some strips here. Really, really cute. And then the other side, love it, has this ombre um, effect to it. And I think the camera is showing it a little bit more on the greenish side, but this is actually very yellow. And it almost look like, looks like sequins, so something between like a beehive and sequins. Super cute, and I love the rainbow um, heart strip here. <coughs> Excuse me. From Stay Colorful, Dear Lizzie, this is called Flower Child. This side has these super cute flowers, love it. And then this side is a really nice kind of a light aqua on dark darker teal uh, floral very very cute again this works just so well with the other it I mean the whole kit coordinates but I just I love the dear Lizzie papers in this kit so this is a super interesting paper uh, I think it's really fun it's from pink for studio the collection is called let your heart decide and this paper is called escapade and you can see it just has this really cool i mean it is green that is correct but i kind of I'm, i don't connect with this type of green but all these like mintier shades i love them so i would consider maybe kind of covering this with a different paper putting my using maybe a large photo putting it here and then not really um, like covering most of the screen that i'm not a fan of but actually knew this so forget what i said i'm gonna use this side because i love um, the orange and then all these kind of peachy colors love them so this to me kind of makes me want to put my photo here and then everything else scattered around or something um or maybe here it's just just seems right <laughs> i don't know design wise so that's really nice that you get like the two color options and you can just choose whichever one you like. Pick me up, Pink Paisley, Paige Evans, number 19. This side has these cute frames. And then this side, I love this side. It's a multicolored print, but most of it is pink. And then it has some pops of yellow. So those are all good in my book. And um, this I think is definitely um, a multicolored print that I can easily use. You can also cut a strip of it with the lines. It makes it very easy. I also like lines because it makes lining up, um, you know, titles and photos really easy when you already have the straight lines. So the side is very cute, but I love this and I feel like it's kind of unique. So I'm looking forward to using it. And last but not least, Pink Fresh Studio BU Collection. This paper is called Brave. This is kind of a peachy coral uh, floral, super, super cute. And then the other side is, I think, this is blue. I don't know, like, this is blue. But I think this is also blue, just a different blue. With white circles. So, let's take a look. And sometimes I do like to kind of group manufacturers together. So let's see, that's all the pink fresh, then we have the floral, then we have pink paisley. And with these kits you can mix everything or you can start with kind of the same manufacturers. So I'll probably start with the Dear Lizzie papers because those are the most, like I'm most drawn to them. And look, so pretty, so many colors and then the B-sides. Tons and tons of options. That's why I love hip kits. The kits are just gorgeous and so, so versatile. So what else do we get? Let's look at the alphas. The alphas are exclusive. They are puffy, white, scripty font. Love it, super versatile. You can customize these, um, something like uh, Copic or a sharpie those would work great alcohol markers they work on everything and 
what I also love about, you know, I just, I really feel that you get such great value. I mean, look at this pack. You get a ton of little butterflies, besides the alpha, and there are tons of letters. And then, you know, there are also the ampersand and the um, at sign, um, hashtag, plus. But then you have this, this is like enamel dots. And then you have these, like these asterisks, all throughout the whole thing, and dots too, and little butterflies, and then bigger asterisks. And then here again, the whole thing is filled with dots and asterisks and butterflies. It's just, I mean, it's such a great use of, you know, the, like use, I think maximizing the product and you can use these for so many. I mean, just the amount of embellishments on this. I know it seems like I'm, I'm talking way too much about, but this is, and it's white. It's so, so versatile. I'm just, I think Kimberly is just amazing with these things. Okay, it's really good. And you're gonna see why. I mean, this is all the stuff that I love. We have here white, puffy, scripty fonts. Then we have this lovely ephemera pack from Pick Me Up. There are 40 pieces and I'll show you what you get inside. So super cute stuff. And it's so good. So <laughs> I don't know where to go from here because it's... So we get these dimensional stickers from Jen Hadfield and I just love these. They are so, so cute. I mean, you put a couple of these on a layout and there's just so much detail and color and interest in these. I love them. And then we have puffy stickers. So these are lovely. They are from the BU collection by Pink Fresh Studio. And there are 20, 26 pieces. Super cute. However, I do like you. Don't be, I mean, don't be insulted. But <laughs> the Hip Kit Club exclusive puffy stickers are a little bit, um, yeah, they are shining a little bit brighter <laughs> for me. And I, you know, I look at the sneaks of a kit and then I try to kind of, I try to forget, I get excited and then I try to forget it because I want to be surprised and um, kind of enjoy again the products when they actually get to me and I honestly don't remember that this was in the kit and this is amazing gorgeous huge puffy stickers with flowers and then you have like butterflies all these little hearts in black and white all these colorful dots a few sayings I mean wow I'm just I mean Kim and Kimberly if you know me, you've probably seen these videos. I make them every month. I love hip kits and I, you know, I'm part of this design team because I really believe it's one of the best, if not the best out there. And I know the people behind the scene and it's just fantastic. So that's the main kit. If you want more papers, you can get the pattern paper kit which has all the papers in the main kit I think sometimes uh, they are a little bit different I know that in May they are going to be different like not completely different but there are a few papers that are unique to each one of these but this month in April they are the same so if you want to have uh, two pieces of the pattern paper pattern pattern paper add-on and then the cardstock add-on, you get two of this peachy color, two of the green one, which is called Apple Crush from Basil. I think these are American Crafts. All the details are on the Hip Kit Club website. From Basil, this is Turquoise Mist, and it's beautiful like turquoise. These are yellow. This is from Basil avalanche so it's textured white on one side is textured and then the other one is smooth and then we have these um, 
this blue one which is called Typhoon. This is probably a color that I won't be using so what I like to do with such pieces of cardstock is I would um, cut them um, if I'm using a cut file that I want to use as a stencil which I do a lot I would use uh, this type of color which I don't really see myself using uh, to cut it and then I can you know spray it with paint and I can still use this even though the color is not my uh, top choice moving on to the embellishment kit okay this is good I don't know where to start it's all kind of exciting okay let's try it like this <laughs> so we have here the swatch book from pick me up and there is one with like I'll show you it says paper swatches and then the other is expressions and there's just a variety of different patterns and sayings and these are cute for cards for pocket scrapbook uh, you can punch easily they show it here so that's a fun way of using them uh, I know Missy uses them a lot with her silhouette like she will cut um, her title with all these so that's another great way of using them we have some enamel dots from Echo Park uh, from the Imagine That collection and I just love the colors I'll show it to you a bit closer and if you're wondering if anyone ever asks you what's my favorite color that's my favorite color that is my favorite color it's kind of like what was it called the orchid color that was the color of the year from Pantan, Pantone that's that's my favorite color moving on from uh, Pink Fresh Studio BU ephemera pack this has 54 pieces tons of cute little things love the birdies and the cup super super cute click click with love really really adorable where were we so this is it's called recollection puffy phrase and accent stickers and I, I admit that I don't really know from which collection this is and it's gorgeous it's just shiny blue pretty and I love the leaves love them so it's double-sided of course more leaves this is fantastic for titles have sweet cute and also just I mean embellishing there are tons of embellishment here and Kimberly makes <laughs> my fantasies a reality <laughs> I mean look at this I totally wanted ombre letters and she made it happen so these are hip kit club exclusive they are puffy they are a really cute size which I can't tell you like exactly how much this is because I'm lazy but they're about like one inch tall I'm gonna say and they are ombre from yellow through like peachy color to kind of a darker peach I would say and I just love them I love them and again I mean oh now I get it oh my gosh okay so there are two sizes I mean look how many letters you get here there are 10 A's here and then here there are six more so this is the large font and then this is the smaller font and then we still get I mean even with two fonts and like 16 of each vowel there are a few little asterisks here some question marks some um, exclamation marks I love these okay so this is the embellishment kit the project life kit I'm going to flip just through the cards fast so you see you see them I know you're you're like seeing it you know the month is almost over but I get my kits um, at the same time like the other subscribers and I think it's actually fun to have this constant flow of inspiration with the current kit and not you know get your April kit and the design team is already all moving on to the next month's kit so I really feel like I work kind of or a scrapbook at the same pace as 
um, as the subscribers and I really enjoy it and I hope that it also provides inspiration when needed to the uh, other people that get the kits. So awesome cards for pocket scrapbooking or layouts. I use these on my layouts all the time. And what else do we have here? Tons of stuff. So this is from Pink Fair Studio, A Case of the Blas, and this is cardstock, and I can't really see how many pieces there are, 32 pieces, and they are super cute, and I think these frames would be fun with some photos in them. Your story is unique, your story is different, really nice, uh, kind of a more muted color scheme with the gray and black and white, super, super cute. I'm tired and I want to go home. Oh, <laughs> very nice. No shame, it's been a long day. I like boring things. This is really, really fun. I have to, I think, you know, it might be work to actually think, but I think it would be fun to actually look at these sayings and kind of create a layout that goes with them. That would be fun. Okay, now we have lots of fun Chamel stuff. Okay, which is coming, coming soon to the screen. Uh, this is from A Case of the Blas from Pink Fresh, and these are puffy stickers. And again, you can see that the color scheme of this collection is, um, you know, it has more the black and white, the pops of green, and the grays. So it's kind of different. Um, I know people use the words masculine and feminine to describe these colors. I say use whatever you like. But um, yeah, so if, if you like this color scheme, then definitely check the Case of the Blas um, collection. And uh, it's really nice because it has like these sayings that at least for me, they are more relevant to everyday life. I think for my memory planner, I definitely need to use it uh, because things like, it's kind of fun to do nothing, who I am when no one's watching, taking it easy, flaws, mistakes, imperfections, life. It's just, you know, it's so much more interesting than just the generic, super generic, awesome day um, stuff. Okay, this I'm really happy because I wanted this and I'm really, really grateful that Kimberly <laughs> put this in the kits. So these are the corner embellishments from Chamel from the Box of Crayon collection. And yes, I love rainbows. What can I say? I love rainbows. So we get three patterns here and there are eight of each, so 24 pieces in total. And this is also very exciting. I think now we have enough letters to last us the entire year. So if you know Chamel, you know she loves um, letter stickers. And I think, like me, uh, she loves tile stickers, which I also really, really love, tile stickers. So you get this cute little booklet, and there you can fit all the letters, and there are eight sheets. This, These two are probably my favorite, because, hello, it's pink with gold, and then this is um, kind of teal with silver or holographic. Then there's the dark blue. Um, this is also kind of silver holographic with uh, dark blue. You have the colorful ones, have some blue ones, red with silver, and then more, I guess two of these, or, or did I get, okay, four and eight. So I guess, two of these, which I'm not complaining because I really like, let's look. No, I think I got a, yeah, I have a bit a weird, I didn't get these rainbow ones. I got two of these. So I don't know if any other ones of you, I'm gonna tell Kimberly because um, it's always good to let the manufacturer know of these things. Uh, I personally don't mind 
because I can see myself using these actually more but um, yeah definitely it's the type of thing that you should let the manufacturer know if you know you get a product and it's not exactly what it's supposed to be so you can put them both like this and then you have all the alphas ready to go super easy and then last but not least these are so adorable so these are also from box of crayons and this uh, these are enamel dots there are 45 pieces and uh, just beautiful colors and they have like glitter in them because you know Chamel made them and she knows that these should have <laughs> glitter in them <laughs> so I love these these are super cute and you could also use the packaging I mean we have on the team Marinette uh, she's amazing and she uses a lot of packaging in her design and I think I hope she's gonna use this because it's super cute with the toucan or whatever this bird is called and then here the the rainbow um, dots here super super cute packaging I'm gonna try and challenge myself to use it also because it's adorable. Oh, last but not least, how could I forget the color kit. So this month we have Distress Oxides, which are amazing. Um, two, probably two of my favorite colors uh, together with the pinks uh, that we already received, at least one of the shades we received in previous kits and um, the Cracked Pistachio. That's another one of my favorites. So this is Squeezed Lemonade. It's uh, one of the newer colors, which is my favorite yellow in the Distress line. So I'm super happy that I have it in the um, Oxide. And then this is Abandoned Coral. Again, one of my favorite colors. Um, and I think I have this one already. This one, I'm not sure. Maybe I was impatient and got it, but I should have known Kimberly would come through. Um, we have uh, Echo Park stencil with this fun pattern and it's called Picnic Blanket Stencil, if you're interested in the name. And we also have the Polished Jade Dilutions Shimmer Spray. So these are also new. These were introduced in relatively new, um, you know, for the dis Dilutions line. These were introduced in the last uh, Creativation in January of this year and you have to shake them to kind of release all the mica because they are shimmery and I kind of want to try them but I don't know on what I don't want to mess this I want to see the color well that's why I use okay so you can see this is like this beautiful um, kind of teal color it's very true to this and this is not completely white so colors may read a little bit different um, it's a beautiful color and I can see already that this is so so shimmery um, I'm hoping that Kimberly will uh, kind of add these the other colors to the future color kits because I love the original uh, dilutions and I really really want to have the shimmer colors so did I mention that this is called polished jade that's the color and it's gorgeous and full of shimmer so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in well Sunday for sure to with a layout that I created with this kit bye